everybody, it's Dylan. It's been a while since I posted, but I was working on this uh, GHD. So let me show you something that I noticed when I was doing some just routine maintenance. So this is the T-bar. It's this bar right here. It's this bar. So it controls the, the forward and back motion of the uh, the forward and back motion of the GHD. So when I was doing some maintenance on these knobs, these knobs, by the way, um, they can be purchased, take one out and go to Home Depot or Lowe's and you can get new ones if they get stripped or anything because we all know that the everyone likes to tighten, tighten them really hard. Uh, well, I was looking at it because one of the knobs was messed up and I noticed this. You guys see it, that crack in the weld right there? So that, this, the way this is set up on the GHD is that the feet would be here and the body would be on this, this side. So a lot of the weight when they're going down for a GHD setup or a hip extension is being lifted on this bar. And you could tell it started to separate. Huge danger issue. If this thing were to snap off when someone was doing GHD, they'd land on their head. Um, so when I noticed that, I got contacted Rogue and said, I took a picture of it and sent it to him and said, hey, you guys, it looks like they actually missed the weld there. So you notice there's a weld there on that corner. There, that weld, it doesn't even look like it touched. So, or if it was a real, it was, I think it was just um, actually no solder there. It was just, it looks like it just was steel to steel. Um, and they sent me a brand new one. So I, they sent me a brand new one for free and I replaced it. And so this is what the, it's supposed to look like. So notice there's like that nice clean weld across here. So just like a heads up, make sure you guys are checking your equipment because that could lead to disaster um, if this were to snap. And you don't really think of steel, but um, there was also another thing I had to replace at Rogue um, was one of these kid bars. So these bars right here, this, it was, uh, around this pipe here the weld it was the same thing the weld wasn't in contact there wasn't a smooth weld here and it was that starting to snap away so if this thing were to like break when someone was hanging on it we don't do pull-ups on these or anything but like scaled pull-ups and stuff like that but if that if that were to break with somebody on it you know lead to some issues so make sure you guys are doing routine maintenance on your stuff also a big one is these straps on these muscle ups if don't ever do muscle ups on straps that have been hanging outside that's super dangerous you should always be inside and these carabiner ones that rogue sells super pricey but very safe uh these rings with the the pull straps good for ring dips and ring rows do not use these for muscle ups um you are it it's very dangerous always stick with these they're like triple stitched with carabiners, easy to adjust, and never have any issues of sliding. Uh, we're gonna replace all these low rings, these, these crappy pulley rings. We're gonna replace these with those new ones where they are fast adjust. I forget the name of the company, but they're like $250 a pair, so we're probably just gonna, I saw a gym owner down the street, they had them, I was asking about them, and he said he was just replacing one pair a month. So that's what I think we're gonna do. We're just gonna start replacing them one, one time at a time. Cause we have about 24 ring setups for ring dips. So time times $250, it's pretty pricey. So probably gonna wait on that. But yeah, just, uh, just showing you guys, just make sure you guys are doing routine checkups on your equipment, making sure that our equipment gets beat up. Rogue is awesome. Always buy from Rogue. If they had, if they ever have an issue, take a picture of it, send it to them. They'll, they'll send you something right back as quickly as possible. So that's it for today, guys. Have a good one.